Okay, hold on a second, Keisha. Just let me ask Ronald exactly what's going on because it takes two to tango and I need to hear his side of the story. So she's driving me insane, got stress heavy on my brain. She keeps playing silly games, man, I'm about to bring the pain. We seem to fuss and fight every day and every night. Please give some advice so we can see the light, see the light. The voice of reason. If your relationship is in trouble, I'm the dude to call. Has your soulmate become your cellmate? Does black love still exist? What are your bedroom turnoffs? Fantasies and fetishes. Financial infidelity. I'm dating a fat person. Are they worth the wait? Trust me, this is going to be crazy. How about the heavy stuff? The child wasn't here, and you still had to pay child support. It's a very heated topic. I was that right. Mama's baby, daddy's maybe. I just have so many questions I want to ask you. I would like to kiss a woman. Is there something wrong with that? Damn. <laughs> he told me he had a vasectomy. I'm pregnant. Trail has been committed. Hit you with a bad patch yeah. routine. How does he maintain his humpacity? He likes it when it pinches my neck. Why can't you open up, brother? I'm a karate man. Karate man rules on the inside. They don't show their weaknesses. Yeah. How do you write women so well? So William. Reason and accountability. The voice of reason. Of reason. Of reason. Ladies and gentlemen, I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't come for these motherfuckers next. Uh, but we got to come after people now. We got to let's listen now. We got to do it. We got to make it do what it do, baby. We got to do it. We got to have the difficult conversations. See, while everybody out there trying to be politically correct. Real conversations are not being had. Right. So again, Zoe Williams says, you know what? I want to be the greatest. Hmm. I want to be awesome. I want to change the game. I want to change the world. How in the flying feces particles do I (laughs) change the game? You change the game. By creating compelling content. That's right. By having real conversations. Yo, ladies and gentlemen, this is Zoe Williams, the voice of reason. Probably the most innovative, cutting edge, insightful relationship roundtable radio show the world has ever known. That's right. Power to the people. It's a real situation. I bring in women. From everywhere. And believe you me, a lot of women are coming to the voice of reason. That's right. We've got some new women coming to the voice of reason. Can I say it? We've got some new people coming to the voice of reason. That's right. Yeah, and it is. They got to be beautiful. They got to be smart. They got to be interesting. Even if they're crazy, they got to be interesting. Right. You and the egg, we get a few crazies. We get a few. Why are you looking at me? Because you crazy. <laughs> the number to dial is 323-230-4610. This is the voice of reason on Dash Talk X. Now, a lot of people are confused. What is Dash Talk X? It is the premier talk station on DashRadio.com. Wakanda of radio. You under dig? That's right. I'm over here trying to change lives. Changing. You can't change a person's life unless you change their mind. Mm. You can't change a person's mind unless they're willing to do the work themselves. Right. And here we go. Before I even get into today's topic, this shit's about to be crazy. The number to dial is 323-230-4610. This is a caller-driven show. I want to hear from women tonight. Now is not the time for you to be coy and... And shy and bashful on some bullshit. 
Right. <laughs> we need to understand how y'all get down. You want a meaningful relationship with a man, mm. but you want to hold on to the secrets of what make you a woman. Mm. <laughs> you like that, huh, yeah, I baby? I like that. You put a little <laughs> twist in the game. It warmed you right on up, didn't it, baby? Boo. Mm-hmm. I only Girl. have one thing to say about that. <laughs> we didn't ask. Well, I'm giving it to you. <laughs> you can't give me nothing I don't ask for. <laughs> <laughs> now before i even get into today's topic i got things to promote hey listen right now i gotta promote the number one thing on my docket right now and that is the holographic relationship book that's right, that's right. i'm getting chapters 17 and 18 tonight this is part of the, uh -oh. the editing process Mm -hmm. We're probably going to end the book at around 25, 30 chapters. Okay. But I'm telling you, it's it's the process is happening. Anybody who pre-orders a copy of The Holographic Relationship, my third forthcoming book. Mm, doing it. Anybody who pre-orders a copy tonight, I'm shouting you out live on the air, regardless of what's happening. That's right. Come oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, shit. Ladies and gentlemen, Corey Holcomb, actor, Most comedian, yeah. extraordinaire, Rarely. just, just yes. showed up. In the place to be. It's about to be some real conversation going down, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get these promotions <laughs> together. Iamzowilliams.com. Go to Iamzowilliams.com. Click shop. Click books. Scroll down. You'll see the holographic relationship pre-order. Pre-order it now, and I'm going to shout you out. Also, don't get it twisted. We got to move these. Total package energy. Y'all need it. Anybody I've ever shared this total package energy uh, uh, drink with has loved it. They need another one. Better than five-hour <laughs> energy. Better than all the Red Bull. And there was a, it's a guy out of Oakland. Mm -hmm. He trains, you know. Fucking Damon Lillard and all these NBA guys. He trains a lot of guys. And, you know, NFL guys, football guys. He trains them. Mm -hmm. And he, there's no junk in this. Right. Yeah, I love it. No sugar, no carbs, you know, zero zitter, jitters, zero crash. This is the one. Oh, yeah. Total package energy. If you're an Uber driver, if you're a, a Lyft driver, limo driver, truck driver, your ass should not be on the road at night without total package energy. Right. That's right. Go to totalpackageenergy.com. Tell them Zoe Williams sent you. Let's move 175 cases. Let's get it done. Now, my relationship book, The Holographic Relationship, we need to move pre-orders. Mimi, tell them. They got to go get that book. Man, you need it. You need it now. Don't look for it when there's a problem. You need it right now so you guys can grow together, get some information, and build. You under did. Then y'all won't have to uh, need some help. No counseling. Jeez. But if you need counseling, he counsels as well. Let him know, Zoe. This shit crazy, man. This shit is out here. Zoe the holographic coach. relationship. Go there now. I am ZoeWilliams.com. Also, another book that I'm reading, and I'm almost done with it. Because I read it in between other books. Allison Brooks wrote this book. It's called From Hell to Fire. Mm -hmm. Compton Fire Department. Book one, Sex and Politics. Very good book. And it's freaky. Yeah. Very good book, man. Go to Amazon.com. Get your copy now. This shit's about to be crazy. Oh, yeah. A good lonely bitch read. Yeah, get your glass of wine and get ready because it's sexy up in there. Mm. And then the final thing I'm going to promote is the relationship dismount. How to stick the landing when exiting a toxic relationship is available on paperback. My second book came out in 2015. Break up, wake up, make up, work book. It can help you in all those areas. 12 chapters exercises at the end of every chapter go get your copy it's about to go down in the town amazon.com paperback kindle the whole nine yards itunes all right here we go here we go so you guys have been seeing what's going on in the news Nicki minaj uh -huh. and cardi b uh -huh. fighting yeah 
You've seen what's been going on with Serena. Mm -hmm. Gender politics and a man gets to cuss people out. Why not me? It's a lot going on. Right. And somebody brought this topic to my attention. And I thought it was very important, man. Somebody brought this topic to my attention. And I started to think about it. I said, damn. A lot of the things that people are bringing to me are true. And typically, it'd be women who create these topics for me. Mm -hmm. So if somebody <laughs> want to hate and say, Zo hate women, Zo mad at women, blah, blah, blah. Not a true. A woman came with this shit. Yeah. Right. Here we go. Let's do it. Do many women rely too heavily on a toxic sister girl circle? Hmm, a more in-depth look at the complex nature of female relationships. Men have been getting dragged in the media hmm. for hating on women. But do men actually hate women more than women hate each other <laughs> and hate not. on each other? Mm -mm. <laughs> no. E I got questions. Did Waiting to Exhale, the movie reframe life goals for black women making it okay to move through life single with your homegirls as your partner hmm. see y'all get to do shit men don't do a woman will go on vacation with her girlfriend sleep in the same bed sip moscato eat cheese and hummus yes. paint each other's toenails mm-hmm and y'all have one broad in that circle that y'all don't even fuck with. <laughs> right. Niggas don't get down. Like, <laughs> mm -hmm. I need to understand, ladies, mm -hmm. why the man got to be the villain of your life when, in fact, y'all really don't fuck with each other that tough. Mm -hmm. The cattiness, the pettiness. Is Nicki Minaj jealous of Cardi B because Cardi B is 10 years younger and on the come up? Pretty much. You know, you know how hip-hop is? You already know. Hip-hop is like, bitch, I don't give a fuck. You got a, a cool album. You've been here for 10 years. We're used to you. Right. The new bitch is better now. Right. Exactly. And the younger kids be like, Nicki, cool. But the new bitch is better. Is she jealous? Is she hating? Mm, Talk to me so. about the catty nature of women, Mimi. <laughs> women are very catty. I mean, women uh, size each other up all the time. They're trying to, you know, look better. They're, if they feel like you're better in any type of way, whether it's your car, your man, your job, what you do, how you act, their ha hating can come into the game. And unfortunately, some of it turns into bitterness, cattiness, and some of them become straight out jealous and envy. And then that's crueler than the grave. So, I mean, at the end of, end of the day, it just depends on how far they want to take mm. the envy that they have. And mm. some people sit up under you and you like sleeping with the enemy. You mm. know what I'm saying? But then sometimes you know it and you got to keep your enemies close because they know too much. So it's like a game. It's like playing chess. You, you, like, you, you know this person is deep down jealous of you. But at the same time, they family, you know what I mean? You know you can't really get rid of them the way you would like to and not deal with them, but you play chess with them. But at the same time, you know they don't mean any good for you. And it's sad because women do it all the time. They hate. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a couple of comedians in the building. Donnie Keith and Corey Holcomb. I'm going to save Corey for last. Donnie! <laughs> <laughs> well, let me just say this. I always had curly hair growing up, and I was almost light-skinned. See, I wasn't what? that yellow bitch, and I wasn't the dark bitch, so I had to fight everybody. <laughs> so I'm just saying, you know, bitches just be jealous, and it don't be for nothing. It be for nothing. You right. know, it could be something stupid, like like I was on swim team. You know, that's not you the norm. You can swim. Shut up. <laughs> it's not the norm for most black people to swim in California. I'm a Californian. I know how to swim. I was a little lifeguard, so I had a lot of hate growing up. And I dealt with it by beating hoes up. You know, you learn how to fight <laughs> when you, like, almost light-skinned. I had to fight them yellow hoes with the light eyes, with the nappy hair. And I had to fight the project bitches, you know. Mm. So uh -huh. it was a no-win situation because they was always testing me. Mm -mm -mm. Corey, why have women turned us into the enemy when, in fact, 
the enemy is within. It appears that way. Corey? You got to run experiments in life. And I challenge people to run this experiment. All you got to do is go to any function. It could be the nail salon. It could be (laughs) church. Mm -hmm. It can be anywhere. Bring a bad bitch in there. (laughs) Right. (laughs) And watch how the whole room turn into a a turmoil. Everything is, it's like, what happened? That bad bitch in here. And she takes all the attention. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. That yes. the other bitches want it. And they hate it. You so you can just watch what type of woman you get if you're in a setting where she can't avoid the presence of a bad bitch. Just watch how she yeah. acts. Right. And you sit there and laugh. Like, bitch, you too whack for me to be taking you seriously. <laughs> you don't even know this motherfucking woman. And you mad. Right. Why are you mad? Right. I've had it's that how you happen. test people. Mm-hmm. All the time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You talking. That that lets you know how crazy. I'm not saying some of these women. I'm saying a lot of these women are. Somebody okay. who they don't even know ain't even said nothing to them yet. <laughs> Just are in right. their presence. <laughs> Right. And it's almost like somebody poured water on the electric socket. Everything exactly. is just oh, popping up out of it. Yeah. Short circuited and everything. Oh my God. And if a woman who you don't know can do that to you, that ain't the type of woman you can be with because she going to cause drama. Because she can't, she's so insecure in herself mm-hmm. that she's upset that the other woman is alive. You can <laughs> see it on their face. You can see the expression on their face just go from pretty to hate. I was at the nail shop. It was this girl. She got up. She was very attractive. And you know what I'm saying? She was dressed nice, all that. All she did was get up and go pay her bill. And I saw every woman in there looking. And the look they had was, ugh. And I was right. just laughing at them. I was like they these hater shit. bitches. Right. <laughs> they yeah. hate her. Yeah, yeah. I, mm. oh, man, I have experienced that so many times, though. Mm-hmm. I've experienced it in church. I've experienced it. Out of church. At, oh, yeah, at church. Because, church for sure. Uh, yeah, church for sure. Church because, bitches ain't shit. Yeah, you know, I've experienced it a, a, a lot of places that I've gone. <laughs> in the family, out the family, up the street, down the That's street. That's why they in church. You know what I'm that? saying? That clear up them being ain't shit bitches. They you know, go, if I go to church, that would be better. No, bitch, you fucking up the church. And, right. the, and then the killer part is they saw, <laughs> to be honest with you, they saw a guy using me, and that really messed them up. They're like, what, guy using her? And she cute. Like, that's really, like, not to be funny, that sounds crazy, but someone will really be mad at just that process, just to think people judge how you look on the outside. So if you sitting on the front row with a big hat and your Bible highlighted, then they think you holy. If you look another way, they think you not who you are. In, in other words, they're judging you from the outside. So and men who don't like each other can't hang out because we kill each other. That's right. That's That was the point I was going to bring up next. <laughs> Real talk. We kill each other. Because women other. find a way to make excuses for bad women in their circle. Whereas with men, we be like, this nigga ain't a good motherfucker. Mm-hmm. And once we figure that out, it's going to be tension between that dude and the other dude that we think ain't good. Exactly. And then there's going to be a moment where it's going to be, what the, nigga, what? <laughs> it's going to be that moment. See, but, with women is we grow up a certain way. Like every friend I have right now, I had since I moved back to L.A. at 14, 15 years old. These are the same women that were my friends in kindergarten. Before I left L.A. at eight years old and came back and the same people are still living in the same houses. We were the same friends. Then you grow up and you start seeing this bitch ain't shit, but she got a baby by your brother or a baby by your cousin. So the bitch is in the circle for life. And I wouldn't that's fuck pretty if it's much my how. If you an ain't shit bitch, I don't like you around. But me. I ain't gonna be around you. But there are <laughs> bitches in the circle that will bring her around to functions, and you have to deal with it accordingly. See, there's rules to this bitch shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but you know what I do? I'm really a loner. Like I know everybody. 
Like, I, I mean, I can't hardly go nowhere without knowing somebody, right? But I'm really a loner. So, basically, I love everybody, but I stay to myself. You know what I'm saying? So, I love you, but right, I ain't really right. messing with you. Like, yeah. I mess with you, but you, I don't let you up under me because I see the hate in you. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? I hang out with people. They don't like the favor that you can have going into places. And if they don't have that same favor, that makes them feel some kind of way. Or, you know what I mean? Because I'm nice to wherever I go. Some people are assholes everywhere they go. So, even you being nice intimidates them. Like, she nice to these people? Yeah, I'm nice. Everywhere I go, I say hello. You know why? Because the same people you say hello to on the way up is the same ones on the way down. So what it do? Mm, mm, Maybe you mm. a thug. I already but, know it though. No, but you, you, you know what? You know what? I also find that's weird. Y'all turn to each other when we fuck up. Oh, that's true. Y'all don't even like each other, but y'all turn to each other when we fuck up. Because when I when I ask the majority of women, I say, listen, out of all your friends. Which gender of friend do you have the most of, men or women? Most women tell me, I got more male friends than mm-hmm. I got female friends. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they got to pay right. the bill. <laughs> yeah, you funny. You funny. <laughs> they say, yeah, because they got to pay bills. Yeah, they got to pay the bills. <laughs> well, I got more male friends because I was a barber for 15 years. Of course, I got more male friends. But, I mean, that comes apart with cutting you just hair. Need a haircut. Right. They don't like nobody lining their hair still to this day. But that's who I go to, men, because you're going to get the truth from a man. So, you're telling me women are liars? Because that's you saying you're gonna get the truth from men. I'm which saying I'm gonna get the truth. That you're not gonna get the truth See, from women. See, a woman to tell you, girl, yeah, he ain't shit. They'll t- they'll try to be there for you, but at the same time, they steady got that knife like scraping your back up a little bit. Like they just can't let you heal all the way. They just gotta jab at it a little bit. Those are the bitches I don't have in my. I mean, they in the circle, but I don't have them around me like Mimi said. But I have to deal with them because my brother done fucked one of them and made a baby. Baby with him. I mean, he got a lot of hoes. Got a lot of babies. <laughs> Shit, you can't be mad at all the haters. There's too many of them. If you walked around here mad at all the people hating, you just right. gonna be mad. Around. I know I'm gonna just be mad. You yeah, mad too? Who got a baby by who? <laughs> My brother toxic. got eight I'm kids. Shaking you. Eight yeah. baby mamas right here in this city, so I ain't got no choice but to deal I with I bitch, bye bitch. But see, yeah, exactly. that's, it. that's that's how I get. do. I do high end buys. I don't have time for the you know phony see, capers. It, here's the here's the wild thing for me. I just think motherfucker do fuck up. Mm-hmm. Women get in they circle and it'd be it be lonely bitches. Mm-hmm. It'd be jealous bitches. Exactly. <laughs> it'd be it be, it be bitches. It, it, wait, it'd be some <laughs> A1s that y'all rock with. Right. But then it'd be some haters in your circle too that y'all give voice to. Like that one girl who was always jealous of the fact that every time you get a man, he seem like a good man, and mm-hmm. she's jealous of the fact that you got a good man. She becomes part of your circle when that relationship break up. Right. Now, all the excuses and reasons that Peaches just gave for why most women don't really mess with each other be the same reason y'all really come back together after the old relationship with us break down. Well, you know why is that? Well, you know what happens when you with the in a relationship, you probably home all day hanging out with this nigga, right? Y'all break up. She trying to get back out, so she trying to be everybody's friend again. She ain't been talking to nobody if she was really into him. So now she back on the market trying to find somebody to go have lunch with, go have a drink with. So the first thing she gonna do is tell how she feeling. So here's this bonding moment. Oh, well, girl, I know how you feel. Or he wasn't nothing. Or I didn't tell you. You know, I, they'll tell you some shit that they thought they saw before. Or put extras on it or he tried to get with me too girl or whatever it is I ain't necessarily and, and bonding it's called turning the village against the nigga exactly, <laughs> right. exactly. But that's exactly and that's justify exactly. who you are and what I you agree. did I agree I agree I agree and, and they sit turning there and try the to village. I agree and they're sitting there talking all this negative BS but to me when you're dealing with somebody and all they have to tell you is something negative about your relationship see I pay attention to all that so you're not going to sit there and play me out of that you feel me so right. the bottom line is pay attention to what they're saying don't that's get fooled cool. Crazy. Well, I think that the problem is is that when women get mad at their dude, it's always your coolest friend that's friends with that bitch you don't fuck with. Mm. 
and you got that girl meet me at the bar you know i'm upset blah 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 here come that bitch right along with her now you well, tell that's your friend that it, because i'm just saying how bitches are this is women they they your friend but they not your friend always uh-oh ladies and wait wait real. wait hold on ladies and bitches gentlemen be I, your wait, wait, friend. wait wait hold on ladies if you're listening to the sound of Peaches' voice and you don't agree with her, get to your phone lines right now. The number to dial is 323-230-4610. That's 323-230-4610. We want to know. Can I if, I'm i about to throw it back to you if you just be patient, <laughs> goddammit. Shit. <laughs> All right. We want to know if what Peaches is saying is true. Peaches, finish your thought on this because I'm very interested to see what these phone lines mm-hmm. do with women in regards to what you just said. Because, like, I have my friends that are just my ride or die, die friends. But then there's that friend that has been around, like I said, that you grew up with, that you really don't fuck with, that always come around with some bad news happen. The misery bitch is what I like to call her. Mm-hmm. Because she liked to see your ass miserable by any means possible. Right. How can I help you, baby? Right. You failed you know, at this relationship. Oh, <laughs> bitch, you upset. Here's some more liquor. Look stupid in public. Get drunk and tell me right. all your business. Right. I mean, there's always that that one hater bitch that's your friend, but not your friend. She your friend by uh, inheritance. But why did... <laughs> That's crazy. Why do you why do you keep her around? I don't keep them around, but it's like they're friends with your friends. You can't tell your friends who to be friends with. Gee. Yeah. Say, speak on it, Corey. Look, if I got somebody who's supposed to be my friend. Right. And they fuck with the enemy. That don't mean I'm going to be like, why are you fucking with them? But you I'm going to watch attention. and observe, <laughs> and I'm going to get the fuck away from all y'all. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. But, but if, it's friend, if it's your friend, if it's your friend... And that's their friend. Your relationship is different with those people. Mm -hmm. Like, you could get into it with one nigga and be buddies with his brother for life. But that's your friend's brother. What you gonna do? You ain't gotta talk to him, but he around. So, finish that thought, Corey, and then I'm gonna ask this question, then we gonna get to the phone. Go ahead. Friendship comes with probably the greatest responsibility. Mm -hmm. I I mean, like, a, a, a friend... I guess it has uh, a certain definition for some people. Mm -hmm. But for me, I don't have friends. I got associates. (laughs) I got people I know from here there. I say, what's up, kick it with you for a minute and everything. But a friend, that's that's somebody who got your back. Yeah, Yeah, true. Somebody who got your back ain't finna be letting nobody else be foul towards you. How about right. it? Well, I, I didn't say she let, my, let them be foul towards me. It's like you had an animosity with this one person at one time. You grew up with them. You know they ain't shit. This bitch got five baby daddies. You just don't like her. Whatever the case may be. I'm but not she's saying. Still but she's there. still around because she is related to one of my best friends or she has a baby by one of my brothers. I think it's another There's nothing subject, you can do. That, that, I don't, if I don't fuck with you, you're not around. Period. When you come around, my too. presence will let you know, hey, how are you? Yeah. What the fuck you want? <laughs> that's, I really am that's not comfortable exactly with how you around me. Yeah, yeah that's you're, exactly you're how I am. You're not going to be it. around me. It's not really nothing to compromise. I can't yeah. have people who, like, it's it's eyes for the streets. That's what I call them. Everything <laughs> they see, you got them type of people in your house around you. You are basically giving eyes to the streets about yeah. your business. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I, I ain't say that. that was being a loner, <laughs> being a loner ain't what you want, ideally. But mm-hmm. a lot of times it wind up that way because it's a cold world out here. There's I'm a whole a bunch of people who who who, who have mastered smiling, right? But right, they haven't right. mastered talking to you for real, right? Right. That right. Part, right. That that's part. why I am a loner. Shoot, I know I'm a loner. Okay. Period. Let's do this. Let's get some callers in here. I want to hear from some women. Just tell the truth. Y'all motherfuckers don't like each other. You only like each other when it's time to team up against a nigga that failed in the relationship. Right. Let's just be honest. Who you at? Who you with? Bitch don't like her daughter because her daughter cute. <laughs> <laughs> 
Like you bitches out here like uh, that. Right. Yeah. 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 I'm You're just right. saying. Right. It's cold hoes out here. Exactly. Don't. Or don't like them because they look like the daddy. <laughs> right. And oh cute. Don't be look like yeah. the daddy. And cute. You look just like this nigga. I don't just sound sh- like I'm prejudiced, <laughs> but I, I, I ain't really met a whole bunch of sane women. Oh, I met a lot of women who need some, who got potential to be coached into being <laughs> somebody who's not scandalous. But most of the women I ever met in my life, it's like, bitch, you're going to try to get me and I'm ready for it. Man. <laughs> Stay on alert. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. True or false? True or false? Many women don't have the interpersonal and intrapersonal communication skills to recognize or alter their catty, mean, jealous behavior. Mm. Gosh, I got questions, man. I got questions. True or false? Mm. Women, rather than bullying each other, right? Or rather than building each other up, sometimes tear each other down. True. Because they're always comparing themselves to other women that are doing better. Usually women don't compare themselves to women that are not doing as well. Mm-hmm. True or false? Right, right. I don't know. The phone lines are open. The number to dial is 323-230-4610. Do women hate each other for being smart and or beautiful? <laughs> Yikes. Mm. What are the proper boundaries for homegirls sharing the same bed on a trip? Knowledge of... <laughs> listen. <laughs> listen. At the end of the day, a lot of times, women be so fed up with men not being who the fuck they think they po to be, and sometimes their most intimate relationships be with other females, other women. They got a bond. They got an emotional bond. They they share everything with this motherfucker. Next thing you know. No. <laughs> Never. No. Listen to what I mean. I'm not saying they turn lesbian no. or anything like that. No, okay. Okay. What I'm saying is the time they spend, right. the energy they put into each other. And again, they get to they get to cross boundaries that men could never cross. Ain't no nigga gonna be in Jamaica together, Dominican Republic together sharing the king size. Right. I asked my mom, my money back at the strip club when the, the stripper bitch let the other lady grab all on the pussy. I was like, I couldn't do that. I want my money back. Right. Get my five dollars back. But see, uh, I I went out of town with a male comic and we shared the bed, but I slept at one end, he slept at the other. Wasn't no big deal about it. Yes, it was. No, was it? Yes. It was skills. Me and skills was just chilling. We was trying to get our grind. Y'all on. don't like each other. That's my boy. Oh. No, I'm talking about y'all. Don't, y'all not attracted to each oh, other. Oh yeah, not at all. Skills look different with the hat off. <laughs> Nigga, no don't even play with me. <laughs> what? Skill with the hat on. Skills look like a ex hooper or something. <laughs> You take that hat off, he look like the village wise man. Oh, here we go. <laughs> what? I'm sorry, Skills. Well, I can see y'all not messing around. Both of y'all like, I ain't trying to fuck you. I ain't trying to fuck you, mama. Yeah, that's that rare. <laughs> that's rare. Hey, the number to dial. I can't is sleep in the bed with no woman. I, yeah. I can't not do even it. another comedian. Like, if me. Saving money if back me in the day when you out. No. I will, I will fuck with an ugly bitch. Just because I'm a man. I got a dick. It's, I can't be in the you bed with no it. woman. I can't do it. I'm going to want to do it just because it's there. Yeah, I don't like you, but. You're here. But I'm going to put this in oh, you for help now. Help me go to sleep. You know what? You know, and then get I'm, off of me, I'm going to give you this dick, but don't get attached to it. No cuddling. Tonight. Right. No cuddling. Just. I got other questions. Let's do it. With mass incarceration and unemployment shrinking, the black male dating pool are African American women crossing the healthy boundaries of friendship with their homegirls and low key dating <laughs> intimately? You ain't, do, got, you do, ain't do, got to have sex to be intimate. The wicked people in charge, they know that the women are sheep. They are our Ooh. resource. Ooh. It's just, we not. That sounds almost weird saying it in this, in this day and time. But women are our resource. They are how we build our family and foundation. We seek out 
a woman. But the people in charge, the wicked Caucasians in charge, have basically made it where we are the bad guys, according to the media and according to the the ones who aren't intelligent. Even though mm-hmm. you have to see what's happening out mm-hmm. here in the world. They ain't finna stop fucking with niggas. You're not, not finna stop all. fucking with niggas. <laughs> You're not, not gonna stop. <laughs> Just like we ain't finna stop messing with y'all. <laughs> so y'all need to stop acting like what they say about us means something. Don't even bring it to me. You know what that's about? That's 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 their hate. Because mm-hmm. we asked that question again because, again, there have been a lot of women that have been frustrated with men. Frustrated with men. Mm-hmm. And turned to lesbianism. Mm-hmm. Because they found more intimacy or safety. Go ahead. Say that, Corey. They always wanted to suck. I was about to say that. Mm-hmm. Because you don't just turn into a lesbian because a dude made you mad. You had to want. That is an acquired flavor, okay? Just I believe like there's girls out here oysters. right, who will suck pussy for money. I believe that. Uh-oh. I believe that. Guys, vice versa. But I'm just saying. Women who have that urge to do that always had that urge right. to do that when they was in fifth grade. That should start when you playing doctor line. with your cousin. Mm. You know, that bitch that want to try to kiss you. That's how you know when it start. When you a little kid, you know how you be playing house or whatever. It's Humping. always that one bitch that be like, okay, I'm going to be the boy. No, you're not, bitch. You're not the I'm going to be the daddy. Right. <laughs> you yeah. be the mama. We you can see them when they young. Mm-hmm. It's just people say you wrong for saying that. I ain't wrong for saying that. That girl like girls, or that boy like boys. It is yeah. what it is. <laughs> and then they get a bad dick, one bad dick episode. Next thing you know, the bitch be on pussy. What's a bad dick episode? Well, I mean, she could have got argue fucked. She could have got taken. You know, it's all kind of shit that could happen to a woman. And then it just triggered that pussy eating effect. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, the phone number to dial is 323-230-4610. You're listening to the Voice of Reason on Dash Talk X. Tonight's topic, toxic sister girl circles. Are you team Nikki or team Cardi? <laughs> Are women, women act like they love each other. This is a time of empowerment. This is a time of, of solidarity and unity and gender power and feminism and who run the world girls no right. girls don't even like each other right yeah really I mean, don't. Like, both of them women are both of them women are insane i mean Nicki Minaj right. can't leave the house without her costume <laughs> even though she had the fake ass implanted in her body but the rest of that stuff she has to put it together right and the you other say- girl is younger but she was a stripper, you know what I'm saying? You're talking about these. Now, when a girl starts stripping, what yeah. that mean? I mean, come on, man. Right. Her self-esteem was one, right. Right. Once you start stripping, that mean you like book it. Right. <laughs> that ain't nothing you just do when you say, right. fuck it up for the strip. I, I right. don't want to work a real job. Right. I just go show my pussy to a bunch of perverts. Well, you can night. actually be more productive selling pussy right. than stripping. Just make sure the guys wear condoms, mm-hmm. and you might have a woe out pussy, but you got a car. She going to have a wore out pussy turning tricks with them stripper niggas anyway, because that's but, all they do on the side is me, but, me, me, me outside, nigga. But you you, you are really you got a dance outside form. your little box right now. <laughs> Yo, <ain't> ass. A, <laughs> but she ain't got a dance for him if you just sell the sex. If you don't sell the sex, you got a dance for him. It's like you're making yeah. a fool out yourself. Mm-hmm. You might as well just be like, I sell pussy what? <laughs> but see, this goes back to my point of why the female relationship is really complex. Mm-hmm. Because when I sit down and talk to groups of women, y'all don't really have a lot of positive shit to say about each other. This is true. It's rare that you guys come together and go, you know what? That's a real dope ass sister. Mm-hmm. I appreciate her mind. And that sister is intelligent. That sister got a good head. It's rare. Right. right. Even in and, and, and people think you, you have to go to some fucking ratchet circle to get that kind of commentary. No, you don't. You can go to Fortune 500 companies. You can go to professional women and sit down and have this conversation about women. And I would say 75 percent of the conversation is negative. Wow. Coming from women. But right. then to me, it's like cognitive dissonance because. 
Now women are trying to coalesce around this feminist idea, around these gender politics, when in fact you motherfuckers really don't like each other. No, this is true. And then everything turns into a, well, you like take Serena Williams going off. Oh, well, you let let men go off. Mm. As opposed to saying, isn't going off wrong for men and women? To go what? off on the umpire. Uh, when have you ever heard a woman say, I'm a stupid bitch who fucked my life up? Whoop. When have you heard that? I, I ain't never heard a bitch say that. Whoop. I always hear who who fucked her life up. I hear that shit all day long. I just well, be like, yeah, my bitch. life was I'm fucked up. Pussy, bitch. I'm tired of talking to you. <laughs> I've my never life. heard a man say, I'm a I'm stupid nigga, yes, bitch, I fucked have. my life up. Oh, yeah. I hear it all the time. Niggas I ain't like, never man, heard I a man admit right that there, shit. Man. Yes. Woo, woo, woo. Yes. If you ain't never heard no man admit that shit, I'm I don't a stupid know who nigga. Fuck bitch fucked you fucked my around. life up. No, he didn't say a bitch. I'm talking about he fucked his life up. I hear a lot of <laughs> men admit they destroyed themselves, the dumb right. decisions I made. I never hear women say that. Wow. But I ain't you mad at them. Let me just let's Because I know what they fuck, and that's what I use them for. Corey, pre- you know what? Corey, present <laughs> the question. Sad. Hey, present the question to the ladies, starting okay. with Donnie. You heard what he said. Have you ever heard a woman, Donnie, say, I done fucked my life up. I done bullshitted from day one. I made bad choice after bad choice after bad choice. I didn't live up to my potential, and that's why the fuck I'm here right now. Have you heard a bunch of women say that? Not a bunch of women, just one. Just... I don't want to she put was you. I always hear women though. say, well, what you do, Joey? I, I, no. I, it's a reverse. It was my She's mom like, when she got sober. Okay. Your mama got what? When she got sober off of crack. Oh, okay. But well, That was still, the only woman I heard but say you, that. That's the only woman it in your life. to get it out. <laughs> yeah, it did. It took that pipe. <laughs> hilarious, hilarious, hilarious. But that's some real shit. They want to say somebody gave him the crack. <laughs> Mimi, have you ever heard it? <laughs> um, no, most of the time people make excuses for why shit happens. So, you know, there's an excuse for every fucking thing. If you fucking up, there's an excuse for it. So most people that I know, they make excuses. Every now and again, you'll have hear somebody say, oh, I messed a particular thing up, but they're not really taking full responsibility of choices and thoughts. And you know what I'm saying? And patterns. That's like Nicki Minaj not taking full responsibility for sneak dissing this 25-year-old kid, Cardi B, over and over and over again, mad because Cardi coming up. You got to understand how hip-hop is. You could be, You could be dope. For many years. But mm-hmm. then, all of a sudden, a younger generation just don't fuck with you. Exactly. And it's, it, your records is still dope to the people you, you dope to. Mm-hmm. But that younger generation be like, I ain't fucking with her. I'm fucking with that. Right. Yeah. And then what happens in hip-hop, because battle is in it, well, let me start poking this girl. Right. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? And then you poked her, just like, um, what's what's the girl? The real pretty girl. Uh, you Well... What's her name? Vivica Fox. Vivica Fox said, yo, Nikki was prodding her. Nikki was pushing her. She kept dissing her, kept saying little snide shit. Then all of a sudden, we she was like, we all know Cardi B is reactive. So you know at some point Cardi B is going to respond to all the shit you've been sneak dissing. Right. And then she goes, then what does Nikki do? She falls back into victimhood mode. Mm. See, women, y'all motherfuckers is very manipulative amongst your own. Listen, before you can ask for solidarity, shouldn't Mm -hmm. y'all fix y'all problems within femininity before you start asking for equality? And I want to be as equal. I want to be equal to a man. Well, first off, find out what it really means to be women, because really, y'all don't fuck with each other. Right. Y'all only fuck with each other when it's time to get some shit from men. Do you agree or disagree with that? Hmm. That ain't easy for them to say. I, 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 know. I, I, I know. I was just really thinking about it because, I mean, when I was younger, that was a different thing. You know, you'll sit and talk to girls you think is your friend and you sit in there bonding. But you really find out when you're exposing yourself to people, you gave them an angle on you. So for me as an adult today, I don't tell broad stuff I don't want to hear again. If I tell it to you, then I'm willing to hear it again. If I tell, If I know I don't want to hear that again, I know I'm not telling it to you. So I'm at a place I wouldn't do that. But I agree with you. 
with you, people normally do that. And I used to do that. But I learned the hard way. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. It hit me upside my head. The same people I thought I was telling my problem to was the same ones that came for me. Or the minute they look up, oh, well, you know, she ain't all that. You know what happened with her and her man. You know, you know, he cheated on her. You know, she, you know, whatever the negative vibe is, they want to put that out there. But not really keeping it real that it's a real one on 18. You feel mm. me? Mm. Callers. I need to hear from you petty bitches out there. The number to dial is 323 230 4610. Tell me the truth. Tell me why y'all don't like each other. Are you Team Nikki, Team Cardi? Why are you guys so petty, but at the same time be doing each other's feet on vacation? I want to know why. The number to dial 323 230 4610. Caller, you're on the line. What's your name and where you calling from? Caller. Um, my name is Precious. Hey, Precious. What's that? I'm good. Um, you sound off. precious. Precious. Thank you. <laughs> you sound like uh, <laughs> Herbert the Pervert on Family Guy. <laughs> right, right. right. <laughs> Hi, Precious. I need to whistle. Hey, hey. Precious. Hey, Precious. Hey. Slay takes the Tylenol PM game. You know what? <laughs> Hilarious. So I was calling because I wanted to say that um, what you guys are saying about women is absolutely right. It's unfortunate, but it's absolutely right. However, um, I feel like women have a un like an unacknowledgeable competition amongst each other, mm. and it's an unspoken competition that they have amongst each other. And then, like as far as the friends part, like I feel like. Every friend pay, plays a role in uh, women's life. So I have friends that I, I play a role with when I want to get mature, honest advice. Those are like my real friends. When I have when I, when I want to gossip and I want a friend just to tell me what I want to hear, then I have that friend. I have that person. Is she necessarily a friend because she can't tell me the truth? Probably not. But she's that person that I can sit and talk about how niggas ain't shit and all that stuff. However, then I have those other friends who would, you know, point out where my flaws are and where I can improve areas of focus. Those are actual women who are who are in a place of a mindset where they can say, Look, this is where you with this is what you did, this is what you how you played a part in the situation and how can you move forward. And I feel like not everybody is at that place where they can do that. And um I think that's all that I had to say. Well, let me ask you this, Precious, because you brought up some great points. Let me ask you this. Do women manipulate other women in much the same way as they manipulate men? Or what is the difference in the way that you guys manipulate each other? Absolutely. I feel like the, I feel like the manipulation is the same because, um, for example, if I have a friend that I just cannot stand her, but she does hair and she gives me a discounted rate because we're friends, I'm going to deal with her because I know I'm, my hair is always going to be slayed. I'm going to do and she's going to always <laughs> do my hair. <laughs> I mean, I like her. I mean, I like everything she does, but I know she does hair, and I'm going to use her to my advantage. Um, is it wrong? Absolutely, but, you know, that's how it is. Same way with men. Like, there's always a, there's always a motive to something. If you're not interested in a guy, but you're still going on a date with him, there's a motive. It's you're, The manipulation is to your benefit at the end, whether it's benefiting you financially, whether it's benefiting you emotionally, or whether it's even benefiting you your brand or even your self-esteem because he's really feeling you, but you have no interest in him at all, but he's really feeling you. That's manipulating your, you, you know, your self-esteem as a whole. Mm. So, so uh, this is Corey. Um, hey. I haven't seen you yet, but how much are you willing to compromise <laughs> for me to come through and leave within the next thirty minutes after I'm done? Um, I resent that statement. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm sorry. I, just, I plead the fifth. Next so you question, just, please. You, no. you just being for hair. Okay, I get it. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, she say if you if she do my hair, I'll put up with it. I was just trying to say I got tangible goods. Hair costs. You know what? <laughs> hey, thank you for the call. We appreciate it. The phone lines are open. I need to know. Because what we're starting to outline here, and I don't know I don't know if the ladies are really seeing it, man. Like I don't know if the ladies are seeing it. But when you listen to people talk, you starting to see a lot of women are now just really now I'm not just I'm not trying to bang on women alone, but I'm just mm-hmm. saying a lot of women are horrible people. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. oh I'm so glad you said it. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad angry. you said it too. I know what money real. do. I know what they'll do for money. I'm here to tell you. And that's what's wrong with Nicki Minaj. I know what they do. I like when they be like, hell no. Then you be like, well, this. They be like, 
Hell no. Then you be like, and hey, you, I'm going to give you this. Come on, let's get it over with. Right. Uh, you and know then what? you get villainized. Hilarious. No, you get villainized as a woman hater, as somebody, you know, if you, if you call it out, if you say, wait a minute, the act that you're participating in has no morals. Mm-hmm. It has no integrity. Right. You and, must be talking about their kid's birth. Oh. Uh, Oh. Right. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying, some of them have babies for bad intentions. Right. Damn. How many yeah. kids was brought here to cuff a man out of his life? Right. Right. Like your whole life is a is a is a step backwards toward good. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm yeah. just saying, That's if you just watch That's him, real. you be like, you you ain't never been shit. Yeah, right. you know, when I want the pussy, how much you cuff? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. Right. I mean, we just got to be honest about it. And I don't think women are totally as honest with each other. Right? And I don't think women come to each other and go, you know, I'm just a fucked up person. No, but you know don't. what? I, I vibe with you and we cool or whatever. And y'all supposed to have intuition. Y'all supposed to have all this shit in place. But y'all allow... Ain't shit bitches to be in y'all crew. Mm -hmm. Why? Why? Because they ain't shit. (laughs) (laughs) Let me tell you something about that birds of a feather. It really, it really is a true statement because my best friend is ratchet than a motherfucker. My homie, this motherfucker <laughs> get to everything. We can't hang like we used to hang. Right. right. But <laughs> on some ride or die shit, that's mm-hmm. my man. Yeah, yeah. I don't mm-hmm. agree with what he do. And I tell him, I said, boy, you crazy. Now, he got morality about him. Yeah. He don't prey on the weak. Right. Mm-hmm. But stuff I've seen him do, I be like, boy, you stupid, man. Right. But, but I'm just saying. Oh, you bring up a great point. Even thug niggas or hood niggas who are out here in the street hustling. You remember back in the day, there used to be a code. Don't fuck with no little babies, no kids, no elderly, no women. There used to be a code. Don't yeah. do not do that. Ain't no code no more because oh. bitches raising the kids without a man. Do you see what I'm saying? You think like a bitch. That's what I tell these dudes. You think like a bitch, dude. Wow. You're straight cutthroat all the way. And and this is what I'm starting to see. Look at Matt Barnes and Go and Go Van. Who is that? Go Van is his 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 ex wife, baby mama. You mean to tell me that the judge gave y'all joint custody? It was his day. He drives over there to get his kids for Memorial Day or whatever the holiday is. And in your mind, the court can't even tell your ass what to do. So you get and in the you car. went to the court. And you went. You get in the car, block him off, child endangerment. Now you done lost custody. Of, but in your mind, you think. It's okay for me to do this shit. Her Men are not socialized that. Her like child that. was an inconvenience. She got tired of hiding the child while she fucking sucked <laughs> in the house. Now the baby ain't dead. She really free. She be telling dudes, you ain't got to get dressed to go to the kitchen no more. Oh, shit. I'm just saying, I know how I really <laughs> go in the game. I know how I really go in the game. And somebody might say, I'm... Bitter or what? I'm not. I just watch it happen. Mm-hmm. I'm, like, right. I'm just watching you. That's what. I, if I'm around some bullshit, I love. It's fascinating to be of mine where you can sit up and watch how far she gonna go with it. I want to see how far it go. You see what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> this is this is fascinating. That this this motherfucker ain't shit like this. But think what you gonna do after you get through destroying this motherfucker? Because they'll destroy a man in front of you wow. and act like it's just him. No, wow. You would do that to me if I'm in that position. That's why right. Derek Fisher should be like, <laughs> God damn. Mm-hmm. That's, mm-hmm. But Derek, you know, he's a lame. That's buttery. just showing his little hoe side. That's <laughs> right. all. I'm a different light skin than Matt Barr. <laughs> right. That's yeah. I'm a real man. He's but, a simp. But what I'm saying is when you look at the female movement today, whether it's feminism or, you know, you know, all of the, you know, gender politics and all of this. They're moving like a corporation or they're moving 
they're they not moving like they really connected to each other. They're mm. moving for the agenda. What's wrong with them, Zoe? So I, I know what's wrong. <laughs> go ahead. Give me your example, and then I'm going to go to the women, too. They need a king. Oh, clearly. They need a motherfucker that set the example by what he do. So when things go wrong, he could say, why are you doing that? Do you right. see me doing that? You can't be around me if you're going to do that. I think that's being bred out of them, though. You can't be around a king bullshitting. Because he can't bullshit in front of you. Because if, if he a king, no, if she see me bullshit, I'd have lost all credibility with her. And I can't tell her nothing now. Right. So all you women out there, you need to get up under a king, a, a motherfucker who going to stand on it and be about it and not do nothing where he do bullshit in front of you but expect you not to do the bullshit. That's mm -hmm. what you need in your wow. life. Find yeah. one. If you find one, don't ever let them go because that motherfucker can guide you through this cold-ass game. Mm -hmm. Peaches, then Mimi, and then phone lines. The number to dial is 323-230-4610. Peaches, go. I'm with Corey on that. Unfortunately, Lee, there's not a lot of kings around. I mean, these women are not raising kings. Hold on. Don't, don't backhand blame us. I'm just saying it's a lot of lame motherfuckers <laughs> running around in these streets simping. Uh, Derek Fishers and a lot of other guys out there. And there's some regular niggas that simps. Well, I, that's why it starts at home. You got to raise your son to be a king. That way, when he grows up, he will only deal with queens. But you smart. You can't play dumb. You <laughs> smart, Donnie. You say something. If a woman cut hair, that means she been exposed to some damn oh, yeah. woman. Yeah. Ain't yeah. been exposed to. I you like. can't never blame it on nobody because you know better and you know you ain't got to be the fuck with no motherfucker like that. Right, I'm but saying, it, it starts at home. Be. It starts at home. You got to raise your son to be a king and then he won't fuck with no peon bitches out here that's just about some bullshit in their life. And I have real women in my life, thank God, that have been my my real ride or die bitches that tell me the truth no matter what and the same here. But unfortunately, they got some real lame relatives that I have to wow. say hi to. Me, me. <laughs> um, I feel like every queen needs a king and then if she doesn't have a real king and he's just simping behind her, then that's not really a good situation. She needs somebody to give her some direction. I always say that, you know what I mean? I need somebody to tell me what to do because I already know a lot, but I need them to add. So women need a man to add for the kids and also for their stability of their own growth as well. Somebody but, keep it real with them. But Mimi, let me ask you this question. What, what about the women that say that's taken us back back a hundred years, you know, because women, like, they don't want to be told what to do. Well, you know. Women, we, we live in a different culture now. They're, the women that Corey just defined, he said what's wrong with them is they need a king. Right. But right. now the young women are being bred and socialized to believe that men are disposable. Right. Men are not a necessity for happiness. Mm -hmm. So, again, they're, they're on this quest. They're on this crusade to be equal to men before they work out their own internal problems of what it means to be a woman. I'm saying to you, Mimi, mm. how the fuck can a woman raise a king if she doesn't have a model of a king? Right. Like, she doesn't know what to model that off of. How can a woman, in turn, turn around and just say like this, hey, what is it that I have to do, Right. In order to become a better woman, or in order to become a better person, checking myself individually. So when I do get into these sister circles, any bullshit I recognize in myself that I recognize in my friend circle, if I haven't dealt with it or, or faced it, I, do women do that? Do you guys check each other like that? There's a men thing called yeah. iron sharpening, iron steel sharpening. Do y'all do the iron sharpening iron thing? Yes, I've done it many times. I have a friend. I'm always trying to give her a game. But the thing about that is she don't want to receive the game. Anytime you give her a game, it turns into an argument. So then I learn, I see why nobody want to mess with you because you crazy as hell. You can't even give her a solution to her problem. She's actually asking for the information. But the minute you give it to her in the way she doesn't like it because it's showing the reflection of her, mm. she's mad at me. Wow. So then it makes me not want to do that with her anymore. I'm like, well, why am I arguing with my homegirl about a nigga I don't even know, but I'm trying to help her to better herself. So it's like a catch-22. If someone 
someone is willing to change and listen to information that would help them to grow, that's one thing. But if you got somebody ignorant you're dating, they don't want to hear nothing and they don't want direction in what you're talking about. It's wow. like but hiring think, an employee that's klepto. Exactly. Wow. Right. Yeah, they're Still never going to do right. Supply. Yeah. They got what all the, the fuck am I supplies. doing then? Don't ask me shit. Exactly. <laughs> right. That I'm part. your life and I'm going to watch how it go and, and see how it go. But I'm just saying, all these women out here who are smart, who have learned to go against their instincts about what's right, that come from this Caucasian leadership that's telling you, oh, these feminist groups and all these people, woo, 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 this is how it should be. Now, fuck that, because mm-hmm. nowadays the kids <clears throat> will do something awful to the elders and the children in the neighborhood. Right. It wasn't like that before all this shit started acting like that, because I no. tell people I live in Robert Taylor Housing Projects, and the elders and the little kids can walk through the whole project. And not be touched. Don't mm-hmm. fuck with them kids. Don't mm-hmm. fuck with them elders. Mm-hmm. But now we listening to this new way where it's cutthroat. And it's cutthroat because the wrong people telling you what to do. Right. Wow. You, don't know, you don't need no bitch who ain't got nobody telling you what to do about getting somebody. Right. Fuck up talking to me. You ain't got it right either. Right. And that's not saying you can't give some advice that's good. But I'm saying, look. The example of your life. Just look at the people who tell you this. Mm-hmm. You be like, you really need to stop, right? And, and, and try to and try to let me see something to make me go, oh, I need to gravitate toward this. Because mm-hmm. talking about it, man, that shit easy as hell. Right. Wow. Right. Wow. Right. Too you know. easy. Phone lines are cracking. Let's get them right now. You want to talk to us? You want to break down why women are so catty, petty? Hmm. And then at the same time dating each other because they didn't ran off all the men because they're difficult to deal with. Let's go now. 323-230-4610. Caller, you're on the line. What's your name and where you calling from? Speak on it. Turn your whole life down. Your exactly. life is a disruption. Turn it down. Can you make a phone <laughs> <in> the background? <laughs> <laughs> who is this? Oh. Hello? Hello? Is this a man? We want to talk to men. We want to talk to women. We don't want to talk to no men today. This is a woman's topic. But I have I have a great insight of what's going on about what you guys are talking about. Are you sure? Let me get one sentence. <laughs> okay. All right, go ahead, brother. <laughs> All right. And the biggest part of why women act the way they do, and why is it so hard for any woman to uh, see past their uh, the mindset, because the way women's brains are wired, they want to be a multitasker. They can't just focus on one thing. So when, like, women go out together, it's boring to just have fun. They have to have fun, talk shit. They have to do all of that stuff in one because they are great multitaskers. It's the way their brains are wired. When dudes go out, they can just do one thing, have a beer and watch the game, and they have fun all night. But with women, it's different. So when that when this when that coincides or when that happens, you you get everything out of it, and then most and you know how easy it is to gravitate towards negative shit. So that's what happens. Women just gravitate towards whatever is easier. And that's I thought you was go- hey, now. I thought you was gonna bring the fire. You see, you <laughs> said you had an interesting perspective. <laughs> you're a young man though, right? Yeah, how old are you, bro? Young, man. Ten years old. I'm I'm I'm, I'm 24 though. 24. Yeah. Get off. Get Ten plus four. I knew I shouldn't have took that. Get in there and watch the dishes before you get put out. <laughs> Take out the trash. You know said, get in there and watch them dishes before you get put out. The street light is on. <laughs> no, no, it's all good, young brother. You, oh, you're on your own. He wanted us is, to know. Well, that's, that's, that's big. You 24 on your own, that's big. That ain't, that's not, right. that ain't average for brothers. Right. So right, we ain't knocking you, bro. It's just... You will learn. You will see how life is. Right. <laughs> right. Keep fucking. Thank you, keep brother. Fucking. I appreciate like, it. Keep fucking. You're a fighter. <laughs> right. Caller. You're on the line. What's your name and where you calling from? Welcome to the Voice of Reason. Speak on it. Caller. Caller. Hi. This is Vanessa. Hey. Hi, Vanessa. Vanessa. Hey. Hey. Corey, Zoe. Mimi. Mimi. Hey. Donnie. Hi. 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 <laughs> so. All right, talk to us. Top okay, three answers so. on the board. <laughs> okay, real quick. So I'm trying to make this as quick as possible, but my mom, she was, like, young when she had me and my brother. 
um, dad got on drugs, and, you know, she didn't put him on child support or anything because he couldn't afford to pay any bills or anything himself. So she was like, I'm not going to put him in child support. So she left, and she moved, and not too far. Then, you know, me, I got molested, of course, so, you know, typical thing. And I was, I had, they had, like, uncles, I had uncles and um, some men around, but they really weren't men. You know, they're telling me, like, I've seen how they played, you know, they played women in their lives. They had, you know, they were always messing with white girls on top of that. It was all white girls. They were playing them, and they were telling me, like, oh, you know, you can't give a man your all. You know, if you treat him this way, he's going to get over you. You got to get them. And so it was like, dang, you know, they teaching me to be like a savage. Like, so when I was young, I was like, well, you know, be the savage or whatever. And then, like, later on, you get older, and then you realize you see things um, as it goes. And I have, like, a couple of same stories with a few of my other friends. You know, they have this same stories, like, you know, maybe they don't have an actual man in their lives, but they have uncles and other people. They call themselves men, and they're like, oh, yeah, do this. And, you know, the music, oh, you know, they got all this going on. It's like, golly. <laughs> hey, Vanessa, <laughs> so, like, can, can I just... What are you talking about, baby? Right. We we have a topic already, so, but if we somewhere else. How many honey? kids oh, okay, did you I'm keep? Sorry. What was <laughs> You know what? Uh, <laughs> you got kids? Oh me no. Oh, how old are you with no kid? I'm thirty two. You mm. didn't keep none of them? <laughs> Shout out to your abortion. I'm just saying, Neat. like, this is like. Oh, shit. <laughs> Not what? Are you lesbian? No. Oh, okay. I thought that's where you were going. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm just trying to understand the nature of why women rely on women while at the same time ignoring the dark side of women, the lack of morality of women. Mm. That's what I'm trying oh, to understand. Why do y'all have toxic sister girl circles? You know that toxic chick in your circle. Why is she still there? Why does she still get to participate? Why can't she pull your ear and speak to you about shit that's close to your heart? Mm, that's a good question. Well, see, me and my friend, I have, like, like two good friends. And we, we're, like, really harsh on each other. Like, we'll, so we'll say, we'll tell them, like, how it is, how we feel if they have a question. But I don't, mm, I don't know. Can yeah, women um, really, really don't know. call each other out, Vanessa? Or is this, I, I do. Uh, is this a oh, circle jerk? Of yes, <laughs> women. Circle jerk? I, no, 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 no. Well, I think there is a couple of circle, or, like you said, yes, women. But in my little two group people, yeah, we hand the business out. All I'm and saying we, you know, is, get mad do, at each other. do you find it harder to take harsh criticism from a man than you do from a woman? Even if they say in the same shit. No, not me. No, That's what's but up. I do. Okay. <laughs> but I do. I do feel like there is. I do feel like uh, just like men. You know, when men, women have egos, so like it hurts them when a man tells them. Interesting. Okay, you gave yeah. me something. I appreciate the call. Thank you for calling in right. and putting us to sleep. Right. Thank you. <laughs> Bye, Vanessa. She must be smoking some of that good gorilla glue or something. I need Have some you, total package. Right. Have you ever seen what kryptonite does to Superman? Yes. That's what the truth does to a lot of women. They be like, oh. <laughs> yeah. I, I, they be like, I can't right. tell you I'm going to die. Right. <laughs> that's, that's what happened. It's it's the truth is something tonight. She couldn't say nothing. She was like, I, I don't know. I told you to take the wizard's right. staff. Right. I, I don't <laughs> Don't know. tell me I knew he was going to do this to me. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm supposed right. to act like I didn't know. Right. I'm a victim of him, even though I, 
I met him in jail as a pen pal. <laughs> I told you to take I let him off. live with me when he got out. And now I have an autistic baby with chlamydia. Oh, oh damn, he just gave her chlamydia. <laughs> what? Oh, here's some penicillin. Girl. Don't don't ever say that's you dating some motherfucker in jail. <gasps> damn, did you say that? Yes, you told me. Hey, let, I think Tone Talks is calling in. We got to get him in here on here, too. Ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to the Voice of Reason on Dash Talk. That's our girl boyfriend, right? We got a hell of a topic. <laughs> we got a hell of a <laughs> hell of a topic going right now. Circling the wagons. A more in-depth look at the complex nature of female relationships. Do many women rely too heavily on a toxic sister girl circle we ask these questions because we're in a weird time women's rights women's lib feminism gender rights but what i find is women don't really fuck with each other Mm-hmm. Fuck with nobody who tell them the truth. For once, the <laughs> truth is figured out. Mm-hmm. Ain't that what happened, to old yes. girl? She ain't been back, has she? Oh, 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 she found out the truth. She was like, I just heard a twelve. The gauge. truth. Well, fuck it then. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna fucking hit me with the truth? I ain't got to put up with the truth. Here we go. <laughs> the truth set you free. <laughs> the truth True or set false? <laughs> <laughs> True or false? Some underconfident women will feel threatened by another woman's success, beauty, smarts, and confidence. Mm-hmm. Yes. The number to dial is 323-230-4610. Somebody call us right now. The phone lines are cracking. Caller, you're on the line. What's your name and where you calling from? Speak on it. Speak on it. Caller. <laughs> Caller, drop him. Caller, you're on the line. Oh. Yes, you're here. My bad. I'm sorry. You answer quick. Um, yeah, so I'm calling from Dallas. Um, I just wanted to say, I think that a lot of women have superficial relationships because that's kind of how they're indoctrinate, indoctrinated. Um, so they only know how to have service level relationships and it's easier to have a relationship like that with a woman. Mm. Um, but there are, I think some women that people like, like personally, I come across kind of to most people where they kind of just spill their business to me. So I've had a lot of women break down to me, cry to me tell me how much they feel like they failed, whether it's having numerous kids and not having kids. It's like a lot of different things, but I think there's women that can break down to that level, depending on who they talk to, Mm -hmm. because not everybody is indoctrinated to have superficial relationships. It's just a commonality now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I appreciate that insight. Thank you so much for calling in, but you got to remember some banal. Mm -hmm. We don't speak in absolutes over here. Everything is generalizations, some but all, some but not all. So a lot of times we don't have to preface that not everybody does this or everybody. We know that there are some exceptions to the rule. What I'm saying is, as a man in his 40s who's dated many, many, many women. (laughs) Pussy, pussy. Pussy, 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 pussy. He <laughs> pussy gonna jump. In I would say ninety five percent of the women I've dated, and I've dated women across the spectrum, in terms of you know actor, actresses, you know, models, artists, musicians, hand job artists, Color. all of them, man. <laughs> I'm gonna say ninety five percent of them have told me. The most wretched shit about other women. 
Mm-hmm. That's because they didn't want you to try to fuck them other women, so they had to put them under the bus. So they you. all was lying. Yeah, basically. They was like, that bitch ain't shit. Her and pussy about to I, fall out, it, out no, of the hole. No, no, I think they're judging each other and finding things negative to say about each other right. as well. I don't know how Peaches missed that. Though. I think women Jeez. just be cock-blocking. Cause I, they, they do many things, but it's different levels of the game. Some of them, you know, are hating on the other girl. She flyer, she cuter, she got more roles, whatever. Better money. songs, more money, more money, getting better swipe, whatever it is. Look yeah, they, they want that swipe. That's you know? why. Wow. <laughs> Phone lines are open. Caller, you're on the line. What's your name and where you calling from? Speak on it. Caller. You done forgot how to work the phone. Watch cool. it. Caller, you're on the line. What What's up? Your, what up? Judge Judy. What up, though? Hey, what up, man? Speak on it, yeah. man. Talk is to us about it. Is that the financial guy? <laughs> this ain't fine. This ain't about finance. It's just about like I ain't just gonna talk about me though. Let's hear it. General general society. Like I just feel like a lot of people don't be honest about what's going on right now. Motherfuckers are trying to really deal with this whole thing of there's not as much bread as it was when y'all was coming up. Everybody in the room is. I'm, I'm just guessing y'all near and near fifty. So your kids are fine age right now. So a lot of y'all was raised by big mamas, people straight from the south, people that had values. Well, your kids was raised by y'all, everybody in the room right now. And so, like, what we have right now is is that it's a very different dynamic for people in their 30s right now, mid-30s, early 30s, not as much job opportunity, very dry out in the streets. And I think people are getting real cutthroat as a result. And and when I, and I think we go back to what Corey said about the jet, about the project, and I think it's, a, it's something else going on as well. You know, though you quoted this before, this economist out of Germany, he said this about the U.S. He said, this is the last, de- this, in the last decade, wealth inequality increased the most in U.S. history. I mean, I, do we know what happens as a result of that? People still want product bags and all this shit that, like, it's still the 80s. And it ain't the 80s no more. It ain't, it ain't dope time. It ain't rap time no more. And I think for a lot of the women, the answer is to get more cutthroat, not to get more communal, not to shrink down your life. And I feel like we, we we don't really see that because we see everything through our own life. You know, we go back to the homegirls we had when we was little. And that's not, you can't use when you was little if this, this much change is going on. Technology with the selfie. Do we know the consequence of selfie? I mean, think about it for both you and Mimi and Peaches. Y'all don't have a thousand pictures you took over the course of your 20s of yourself to now, re- re- uh, to now look back on. These younger girls do, though. And do we know that what that does to you psychologically over the course of time? Narcissism. And yeah. I, yeah, narcissism. I mean, I mean on, on a whole nother scale, though. Right, right. And, I, and, and I, I'm looking at this thing, and I, when you look back, at there was three callers back, and there was a young lady that called in. And I've noticed these younger women are calling into your show with horrible personalities around relationships, with immature understandings of friendship. And that's interesting because I, I really love what Corey was pointing to about what a friend should be. And I, I listen to the, the women in no disrespect. I feel like some of the stuff we're saying about okay, it being okay for this person to bring this person around. Now, that person needs to be considerate of who the fuck they bring it around. Mm, and right. I think one of, the things, <clears throat> one of the things that we see, and I brought this up on this show before, is that uh, many women are not being honest why you got that fucked up homegirl around. That homegirl is a key for you to get some stuff Ooh-oh. from somebody you shouldn't be around. Ooh-oh. You go to Vegas and she going to do all the new stuff to meet you, you, know, you know, get you in the Floyd's room. Mm. For my Mayweather or something. Get mm. you in the Jamie room. You don't want to do all that shaking and lying and all that, but you want to be in Jamie room. And I'm saying to you. And your busted ass girl. home. So they keep the busted homegirl around to do all they dirt for them. They keep insincere yeah. inv- individ- individuals around them to validate their bullshit. That's what that person is for, Ooh, to validate the bullshit. Shit. Mm. So it don't matter if they cut so throat. You, they, they serve their purpose. Wow. Yeah, they, and you heard the young girl say that before. That was a horrible. Her mom should sit down with her. Her father should sit down with her. And they, and they got to know who she is. I'm talking about the girl that called about three callers back and was talking about doing hair and all that. That was talking about precious. Yeah. Yeah, a horrible understanding of human interaction. Mm. And I'm just saying to you, I don't have friends like that. Like, when I talk to you about your show, it's not for the betterment of my show. 
It is for just your show. Mm. It's not a utility purpose out of me talking to you. Mm. The problem right now is that we don't have no wealth and no resource. So what happens when a community doesn't have utility? Then as a result, the men are just expendable. But pretty soon the women are expendable too. So then you end up with just you in a room, crazy as fuck. <laughs> and I, 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 and I, I'm just, I'm just saying, I, I want to come back to the one of the concepts you kind of fringed around, which was, I don't think we're really diagnosed in this borderline date. You know, Sunday brunch becomes Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday becomes Thursday night late dinner. I don't think we understand why that's happening, and we're not being honest about it, how intimate it is. I'm not talking about sexually intimate yet. In some cases it is. I'm talking about beyond boundary intimate. Mm. And I don't think we understand as a result why you can't connect with a man because you've been dating this homegirl for 20 years. From 20 to 40, you've been dating your close friend. Wow. Ever since Waiting to XL came out, my mama had me young. I always say that to y'all. Like, she had me at 16. So I remember when Waiting to XL came out. She didn't have a pop, and it wasn't a healthy movie. I felt like Waiting to XL for black women with no pop in their 30s was as bad as Minister Society was for niggas in terms of, like, you shouldn't be watching that. But we didn't do that with Waiting to XL. We mm. just let that shit run loose. So now we got a generation of people that think this girl relationships that are built on just being horrible and then just classifying. That girl called their precious with classifications for friends. She had a friend for hair. She had a friend for going out. She had a friend for... That's not the way friendship work at all. Wow. And hey. I feel for her for the rest of her life. Hey, Tone, we, we got to go, man. But damn, right. that was that was good shit, man. I hey, man, that movie Waiting to Exhale, Whitney Houston stopped fucking with dude at the end when she started to realize he ain't going to do what she say. Ooh, that's that other <laughs> part. <laughs> All, right, All right, thank you, man. That's when she gave up. I can't get him to do what I want him to do. So it's over, and people was cheering. I was like, you stupid bitch, you play. But you know what? You realize you can't move him. That bitch that he calling on the phone, that bitch was the, that was the motherfucker who was important. But you know what I'm starting to understand but with this conversation? Women are like that with each other. Women cut their own friends off when y'all don't do what y'all want them to do. Heck yeah. When they don't agree with y'all. Like Corey said, that one busted bitch is there to validate your bullshit. That's her gig in your life. Can we just get, can we be honest? Hmm. Men, we don't, come on, we don't do that. Yeah. How y'all going to get solidarity and gender rights and all this other shit, and y'all got all these wrinkles in y'all relationship with each other? Y'all some vicious, vile motherfuckers to each other. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not making none of this up. Doing the research for this show, I found report after report, psychology today, all over the place. Women are way more vicious towards each other. More, uh, uh, they said, they experience incivility amongst each other more than they do from men. Mm -hmm. But if you watch in television, if you watch in TV, if you watch in the movies, the big bad boogeyman in America as it pertains to women is men. You ever heard anybody call Jill Scott a slut? I ain't Dude. never heard nobody <laughs> call her that. But do you know her story with all of the men and everything? I don't. No, I what's don't. the story? I didn't know. Now, what's the slut? story? How I mean, like, how many times Jill Scott been married? Mm. I don't know. This is what I, this is what I'm trying to say. You never hear shit like that about loose women. You know what I'm saying? You you be like oh, Jill Scott? Yeah, right. she busts down for the game, mm. but don't nobody know it. I said it on purpose just so people could know. I mean, like, see, ain't nothing wrong with having a girl who like to fuck a lot of people. If you know she like to fuck a lot of people. Uh -huh. Well, for a motherfucker like me, if I got a girl who like to fuck a lot of people, God damn it, I'm, it's a reason why I got you around. <laughs> to fuck other people. I mean, it's a reason. She, <laughs> might, she might bring bitches. She might have great personalities. Right. She might work at the bank where I could cash checks I normally mm -hmm. wouldn't be able to cash. Right. But, you know what I'm saying? It's a reason you around. Mm-hmm. I some men can't have a girl who fuck other guy fuck other guys. I, I can have it. As long as long as we know what it is. All right. So you go do your thing. But I got this check I'm bringing by tomorrow. <laughs> you know what I'm right. saying? Up to the bank. <laughs> I need it cash. Right. Bust it open and bust it open. You know how, you know how it goes. <laughs>
Yeah. Damn, that's crazy. This this show is like showing me that women be using each other in the same way they use men. You here to do my hair. That's our relationship. I listen to your bullshit about your baby daddy. And you press my hair. <laughs> hilarious, hilarious, hilarious. See, the thing is. Until this play out and I find another motherfucker to do it for the same bargaining chip. Right. 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 And it's unfortunate, but this shit is passed down from generation to generation. If you see your mama and her friends, the first thing little girls do when they little is watch their mother interact with their friends. And if you don't have a father around, you ain't got shit else to do but stare down your mama's throat. What's the first thing your mother say? Stop looking down down my throat and me as a little girl my mother had a lot of friends because she was in the music business so there was always a lot of women around and i would sit there and listen it's to them and think too. these bitches is crazy <laughs> oh. i mean that's what i was thinking but about. let's go back a couple of shows mm -hmm. women teach their baby boys to be gentlemen and simps mm -hmm. and carpets to be walked on by women yeah but they teach their daughters to be savages, social savages. You better get something for that pussy. You better not get that pussy away for nothing. You better you better leverage that pussy. You better, you get what I'm saying? And then we turn around and say, well, wait a minute. Why don't women like each other? Because a lot of times mama be putting that vitriol in women towards other women. They do. My Th mother did it. That's true, but when I was a kid, I thought everybody was my friend. I wanted, like, I wanted to feel loved so much because my family wasn't around. So I used to think my fr my friends were really like a family. But it hurt me so much to see people that act like they loved you were really like sheeps, but they were actually snakes inside. And I found that out with a lot of different people because. A hatred and jealousy and com competition is so real these days. So I just feel like it's a catch-22. It depends on who you're dealing with. You know what I mean? And I think... But see, Mimi, you're doing it again. You personalize it. Okay. With, with your experience. Oh, okay, what with, I'm saying is, uh -huh. in general... Oh, no, I agree. I agree. In general... I agree. Most women open the door for her, I be agree. nice to her, mm. speak to her this way, do this and that. I agree. But when boys see mothers... Or their mothers interact with other women in savage ways. Mm -hmm. What does that do to the information they just gave him mm -hmm. about treating women properly? Right, right. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, I just see you cuss out every woman. You talk shit about every woman. You criticize every woman. Right. You, you drag women. Right. What does that say? Uh, again, right. women That's are true. using their sons in general, mm -hmm. especially single mamas, mm -hmm. using their sons in general to be the man that either their daddy wasn't, the nigga they fuck with wasn't. Mm -hmm. They be trying to mold their kid mm -hmm. into the experience that they had. Like, right. oh, I'm going to get you to be something different than what I went through. Right. You're going to be this. But then True. when they have a little girl, you better go out here. They be more socially. The girls be sharper. They be on They, they be on some different shit. Come on, y'all. Have tell you me. ever been in a I relationship agree. with a woman, Zoe, that made you genuinely want to switch up your bullshit. I'm saying genuinely, not do it because you want to shut her up. Not do it because, because I want to make peace. It. Because you say, I'm around somebody that I ain't got no business fucking over. Right. Have you ever been in a relationship with somebody like that? Twice. <laughs> Twice. Mm. Maybe three times. I ain't never. It won't in happen, a relationship though. with a woman where I feel like this motherfucker is so 100 I am I would be a I would be a villain if I stayed around her as I as I am right now mm. I ain't never been in no relationship like that but see that except goes maybe maybe I may, may well I'm just saying it's the maybe to it but I'm just right. saying meeting somebody who ain't got an ulterior motive I just ain't ran across that shit yet Right. But see, that goes back to Derek Fisher. The way a woman, like if a woman puts, and this goes both ways, men and women. If the person you're dealing with puts their 
conflict management or conflict resolution toolbox on display for you, and it doesn't have anything to do with you. You're the you're the motherfucker watching. Meaning, I'm watching this woman I'm dating deal with a baby daddy or ex husband or old boyfriend, and you see an evil mercenary petty. <laughs> Just foul motherfucker dealing with this person. You a fool to think that that same toolbox won't be used on your ass when that relationship go bad. Was Derek right. Fisher and Matt Barnes ever teammates? With the Lakers. Oh, wow. What does that tell you about Derek Fisher? That's my point. Right. To mess with your old teammates woman. Right. That's What that's kind of point. man is that? Mm-hmm. He broke the rules. That's he, a whole nigga. Right. He's been checking her out the whole time. Couldn't Bad wait to make his move. The whole time he laughing and cheering with you, too. Right. Like, I love I bet I'll he take was that ready. down. Right. He probably would give her information on why to leave him. You know, that's what dudes do when they really like you. They tell you what the other dude is doing to kind of water down a relationship. Oh, he did that? Yeah, come mm-hmm. on over and have a drink. I'll make you feel better tonight. I baby. bet he was raised by a lot of women without dude around. But see, that's my. Th- listen, nobody wants to. Cool Modi said this shit one time. He said, man, the way we socialize to view our mama is real simple. That's our mama. We love her to death. He said, but you ain't never thought about your mama sucking your dad's dick or what kind of freak she was. He said, you don't think of shit like that. He said, but but listen to what I'm saying. They still human beings. Right. They still go through whatever they go through. And you don't know what kind of dirt. Mom would get down with because that's not that's not the context of your relationship. Exactly. So when you look at your dad and go to this nigga mad as fuck, why the fuck is he mad at her? Right. The nurturer. Wait, but you ain't got the same relationship, nigga. Right. You don't know what kind of person your mama is outside of her being a mother to you. Right. Most men ain't got the strength. To judge their mama Ooh. fairly. <laughs> they put their mama on a pedestal like yeah. she right. can do no wrong, even if it's obvious she a funky bitch. <laughs> right. right. Uh, for real. And my son. <laughs> I'm just saying. My right. son don't even me. like me right. mentioning nothing oh, about shit. sex around him. My son act like I'm talking about some real crazy shit if I mention anything. Is. My son grown. He's 32. Right. You know. You know, he no. still don't want to hear me talking. <laughs> don't want to face that. You need to tell him. Mama been tossed up. He, when he comes to my shows, he tells me what jokes I can't tell. Uh, yeah. L- listen, Hilarious. one of one of my philosophies, and I'm not going to put it out. Any, any, I've never seen a mother do this. Teach and lead with her shortcomings. Mm. Teach and lead your kids with your flaws. Most women try to hide their flaws, compensate the, for the flaws, and do the right thing in order to stay, uh, in order to, to maintain this pristine image that the kid may have. But as a father, m- what I see men do is put the bullshit they've done on the table as an example, now I'm not saying all women. I'm saying some women. I'm saying most. I, okay, I'll fuck with that. But most men come right out and say, "I cheated on your mama," or "I did this," or you know, "I used to rob banks, but I don't want that for you," or "I used to be a, a, a dope dealer, but I don't want that for you." You understand what I'm saying? I used to run checks, but I don't want that for you. Let me explain, son. This is how this shit gonna play out. Mm-hmm. I don't I rarely see women put their fl- you know what nigga I got anger issues you know I got you, you you know what I'm saying I'm a controlling motherfucker I see dads put it all on the table I rarely hear mothers say niggas you know leaving in and out my room but we ain't got no food in the refrigerator <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm stupid though I want to be a productive a hoe, but I'm not. I'm Damn. just a stupid hoe. Hilarious. <laughs> Damn. I'm just saying. Hilarious. Toxic sister girl circles is tonight's topic. Why do we take bad advice from our girlfriends, ladies? 
Mm. Why do we keep immoral, wretched bitches amongst us? I, I said it earlier today. I said, now, women tend to run to their circle after men have failed them in some way. And y'all really don't give a damn if bad women are in that circle. You just trying to feel better about the bullshit you experienced with a man. Am I right or wrong about that, ladies? For most women, yes, you're correct. Mimi, I'm a peaches. I have to say that uh, no, because you already know where I stand. These women are in your life because you don't have a choice sometimes but to have them in your life. But that doesn't mean you have to tell them everything that's going on with you either. I know who to tell shit to. I know who not to tell shit to. I'm going to open the phone lines right now. 323-230-4610. Do most women trust men more than they trust other women? Yep. Yep. Call me right now with your answer to that question. Yes. Do most women trust men more than they trust other women? 323-230-4610. Caller, you're on the line. What's your name and where you calling from? Speak on it. Hey, what it do? This is Jane Mo out in North Coast. You can't answer that goddamn question. Hey, Jay Mo. <laughs> hey. Where you from? Hey, what it is- What's I, that, Mike? I can't I can answer that question. We talking about it. Bitch ain't been out the house the whole time. <laughs> Go ahead and answer it, then, brother. Well, now I stick to trust. They don't trust a motherfucking thing. You gotta understand something, though. You had a show two days ago to where the context was abortion, and you prefaced it with a great context beginning of genocide. And every woman in that room, and the one that called on the phone, found some way to validate that. Now, if that's not toxic, when it comes to their friendships, and the aspect of she snacks over there talking about the truth, he laid it out there. They don't accept the truth from, from their friends. They don't accept the truth from their men, be it their man being a good man or their man being a bad man. The thing is, the most toxic thing about our women is that they all hoes and they don't know it. They need pimps. I knew you were wow. He sounded like an they Oakland pimp. Wow. They've been turned into hoes. They need pimps. When they're around each other and they're and they talking like that, if you ever seen a pimp with a whole block of hoes, be the only one that can put them bitches in the direction that they're supposed to be in. And our women have been flocking on to whole culture, and it's been gradually turning them into that. They mm. don't know that they're doing that at little girls. That's how hoes act, not women. Wow. Mm. Wow. That's just hard to swallow. Well, it's hard That's to true. swallow, but... Um, Corey, yeah, he, he he makes a he makes a real valid point. Now, I'm here to tell you about uh, 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 what a pimp do. A pimp is is a great form of discipline. Dis- he's a disciplinarian. <laughs> he ain't finna let that shit get all out of pocket around him. Oh a man God. let her get out of pocket. I seen motherfucking bitches act crazy in front of their man. They man tell them stop, and then they act like that motherfucker ain't shit. But Thank you. If you with a motherfucking man who gonna demand respect, even if he gotta go to the backslap side of the game, some of these bitches need to be taught forcefully how to act. Because they act like animals. I seen bitches with their kids trying to fight some other bitch. If you got a pimp, if you got a pimp around you, he ain't finna let that go down like that. What he, what he look like letting the hoes fight? He, if you beat up, bitch, you can't make the money you would have made if you wasn't beat up. If you're going to be beat up, I'm going to be the one to beat you up, bitch. Wow. I'm just saying. It's just people are trained to think when somebody say pimp, that's a bad thing. And I'm nope. just saying, it ain't always a bad thing. No, I, I understand how, you know, it could be changed. Thank you for the call, man. I appreciate it. I understand how the word pimp could be uh, recontextualized. A lot of people recontextualize pimping. Uh, in a political sense, you know, uh, George W. Bush, George Herbert Bush were major pimps in the game. Right. You know, right. bitch, you, you know, work for minimum wage, you getting pimped. Pimping the world. Right, right. 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 <laughs> for nickels. Pimping, pimping is discipline. Pimping is, uh, you know, manipulation and control and all of that. And I think a lot of women have been socialized to be a pimp in their relationship with other women. Because mm. look at it this way. We live in a transactional society. Like Corey said in the beginning of the show, most people don't even know or remember what the real definition of the word friendship means. Right. So Mm -hmm. now 
everybody in your circle got to be bringing something to your table in order for it to make sense to even call them a friend. All I'm saying is, could Derek Fisher be in our crew? I would never fuck with no bitch ass nigga like Derek Fisher. Right. And I ain't even met him, but what he doing? Right. Nigga, you a hoe. That wasn't that your teammate? Oh, you a hoe ass nigga. But do you see what I'm saying? Like, right. Like if if we find out, or if I find certain niggas doing dumb shit, it, we 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 niggas who give a fuck about the crew and respect each other, niggas tend to pull that nigga. Like, hey, right. mm-hmm. I know you was doing that dumb shit, nigga. Fuck up out of here. Mm-hmm. But right. see, women are- I don't think y'all do that. I don't think you guys hold each other accountable because you've been socialized to not be accountable. You receive shit from men because you've been taught to receive. He ain't worth his salt unless he giving you something. You could be a baby killer. If you got that paper, them bitches going to fuck with you. I also think your, your relationship with women are the same way. I'm a bad bitch. She got to be a bad bitch. What some do you think? Some women do think. That. Yes or no? I think some women think like that. I, you know, I don't necessarily think like that. She, like I said, I'm a loner. You know what I mean? You got some bad bitches that keep inferior bitches around them. Oh, I know. So some. they can st- so they can feel uplifted. Exactly. Or- come on, man. I know some women like that. You know what I mean? I've even had somebody come up to me and say, "Why do you?" It's people like I know from different places. They say, "Why do you like this person?" I'm like, "They're a good person, but they'll judge on the outside. It's not about the outside. It's about the inside on some real stuff. Because you could be pretty on the outside and fucked up on the inside." We've been taught a lie. Yeah. And the lie is most women are nurturers. Right. But this society has turned women into vicious social mercenaries. No, the, the truth. Let me to be honest now. I, shit. I, I think women say that another woman is not shit when she's mad at her or once some other shit go wrong, then they expose them. Or if they start noticing she's constantly, she's not taking care of her kids. She's always without a job. Women do talk about each other and we'll go to the person and we'll say, I'm not fucking with her because she's not I about know, shit. But not a lot. I know a, lot a of, woman uh-huh. who is friends with a horrible motherfucker. That's horrible. It happens for sure all the time. I know a woman, and, and I don't understand. I'm like, well, how, how does she, how does she get to stay in the circle? I, I don't understand that. Uh, Peaches, well, how does she get to stay in the circle? Well, I mean, like I said before, there's reasons women keep people in the circle, like that caller said. Now, her reasons were a little Weaves. shallow. Weaves and, and, and Yeah, and, you know, chicken hair do pies. some shit to a bitch because mm. hair is $1,500 a wet for some of these bitches. So I understand her hair drama, but I'm not condoning it. I'm just saying that women will check other women. I've checked plenty of bitches, and I know women like that, but I know women that are in a circle for specific reasons to use you for certain reasons. Like I'm a comedian. A lot of bitches try to be my friend to get in clubs free to see niggas like Corey Holcomb. You know, they want to know when you go into the comedy club. They used to always call me, are you going to the comedy store tonight? They know it's Tuesday. They want to get in free. Nah, bitch, you can't go. Who you see me with? By my motherfucking self or with another comic? You can't ride on my coattail inside to fuck a nigga that's on his way up. But... If you need something. If I need something, bitch, I get it. But you know what I think? <laughs> <laughs> I heard you. I don't think I ain't hear you. I just, you know, Donnie and, you know, these the homegirls. They the girl. They the, they the you don't want them to feel like you got venom toward them. Because right. I don't. I got love for Donnie and, you know, I, I got love for both of y'all. You know what I'm saying? But as we talk about shit that go on with women, you ain't got to worry about me being caught up in the mix with y'all um, over shit like that because I'm not stupid enough to try to get some pussy from either one of y'all because I know it'll fuck everything, everything. Oh, it'll, it'll change everything. The whole so, game like, We can done. always laugh and joke about whatever the right, fuck it is. You right. know what I'm saying? That's I'm, right. I'm going to always be like, nope, that's, that puts it off limits. I'm going to see her around. I don't right. want it to be awkward when we see each other because, you know right. what I'm saying, sometimes when, when, after you go to the dick pussy side of the game, it, it can't never get fixed to be neutral again. So right. that's why we can all up. talk about it in here. But I do want to say this. It's also a confidence 
within y'all that um, uh, makes makes it where you can uh, be around men who talk matter of factly about women. Now there are other women Mm-mm. who, if you bust them out on their shit, mm-hmm. them motherfuckers really you can see it in their eye. Right. <laughs> This bitch won't kill me. And right. I have met women like that since I've known Zoe. Mm. <laughs> oh, I'm right. sure. Remember mm. that girl Brandy? Oh, yeah. Mm. Very attractive. Very attractive. Gorgeous. I, I would I would have crossed the line for her. I'd have been like, fuck it. Huh? <laughs> right. I don't care if you mad at me afterwards. Uh-uh. I, I won't get that pussy. But <laughs> she didn't know how to handle the truth well. Uh, so I remember. I remember that. <laughs> I could tell, like, I brought rage out of that woman. Like, I remember Bobby saying, why your veins popping out your head like that? Because yeah. she was like, ain't that proud? Yeah, 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 yeah. And she I was laughing. It. I was like, wow, you know, I just don't take this stuff personally. Right. But that show, her reaction showed the truth in it because her reaction was exactly what it was, the truth, you know? Mm-hmm. If you react in that, because I've been to shows where I've seen Corey actually make every woman in there so upset. These bitches had to go on a smoke break. Right. They ruined my set because they all went outside. To, they was traumatized after Corey got off the stage. I, I would say <laughs> it was no bringing so, them back. I'd have met about four girls, and that's being nice. It's been more than that. Mm-hmm. But I'd have met about four women that my presence made them get to the point where they attacked me mm-hmm. just because I was talking generally about. Things that we was talking about on the show. I remember that. It was the bitch with the little book. Uh, <laughs> you remember that bitch? That bitch was going at me. This bitch had a book that was smaller than any book. <laughs> was it I a Dr. Saw. Seuss book? No, oh he, he said it. He said it was a. It, it was a book full of tweets. Right. Pop, a yeah. It was a book of tweets. The, the book for driving is bigger than this book. This you bitch know what? In here with a little ass <laughs> leaflet. Book. Right. That's a what pamphlet. she had. I swear it was a leaflet. Talk about she an author, and I couldn't help it. Then yeah. it was a bitch so yeah. head that was saying she was a doctor, and I was like, a doctor oh, of what? Wow. And this, I. She she kept her composure as best she could, but she was mad. Like you could see it in their eye. Like they felt like I was attacking them, and I wasn't doing nothing but asking questions. Yeah. This is the stuff. This goes back to what Zoe was talking about. It's bitches out here who not only are evil, they want you to go with their evil. Right. It's like old girl right. was in here last time talking about white privilege. And yeah. that was the funniest shit. That was probably the funniest <laughs> one out of all of them. <laughs> I'm not talking about her dissing her. I'm just saying when she said she had white privilege. Yeah, right. that's yeah. true. Now, that everybody. was funny to the motherfucker. <laughs> right. But I was looking out there in the lot. I watched her pull off. I was like, you ain't got white privilege in that motherfucker. Not enough kid. How you living? Right. <laughs> this bitch out here will kill you if you don't allow them to, to let their bullshit go. Right. Wow. Men too, but I'm just saying it's different with men because we we fight. You know what right. I'm saying? The, yeah. Them girls ain't fight me because I ain't little, I guess. But I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. Damn. Callers, you're on the line. <laughs> Let's get them in here. Callers. Welcome to the Voice of Reason. My name is Zoe Williams. You're on Dash Talk X. Caller, you're on the line. What's your name and where you calling from? Speak on it. Caller? I'm a doctor. <laughs> Call it. <laughs> Come on, Darren. Ooh. Call her. You're I on the line. Call her. I think he's talking. Them people don't know. They've been holding on so long. Hi. Call her. You're on the line. Yo. You got to turn what your up? entire living room down, dog. Turn your living room okay. down. Yeah, we just turned up. All right. Hey, this is Oprah Sheboygan, man. What's popping, man? What's happening, man? What's what it do? What it do? Hey, man, I wanted to say something about, like, um, from a woman's perspective. Can you imagine, like, their their go-to is their vagina, right? So the reason, my, my opinion is, as a guy, we never have to take our dick off the market. Like, we never have to stop for like a week and let our dick stop bleeding, right? So I think the reason why women could oh be angry God. is so I'm a because at, at any given moment, right, even as the women sit there so elegantly and so classy, right, they pussy could be bleeding at this moment. So that's the pussy. Okay, all right. Now. Oh, boy. I think, I, 
But I think a lot of women are upset because they really, <laughs> you, know, you know, they could be, right, they could run across a great guy, right, and they could be playing hard to get. And then when they're ready, they pussy could start bleeding. And then now they done blew the whole, you know, thing or whatever. But I think, you know, a lot of women are, are upset because, I just don't understand how that ties into the topic right now. (laughs) That's fucking brilliant. Thank you. God God. got to drain that Uh, motherfucker once a month. He's like, look, bitch, it's too much bullshit in there. You know what? Yeah, well, you called in here just turned up. You normally call in, you be asking for help right. and shit. Yeah. Now, now Corey come in, this motherfucker want to get on stage and do three minutes. Right. right. He uh, must have hit hey, something hey, bloody. Hey, hey, shout out to you too, Corey. I was there at the show in uh, on, on, in Chicago, wherever you was. That's what's up, man. Appreciate it. Yeah. All right, man. Thanks for the call. We appreciate Peace, it, bro. Man. Y'all be good. Stay this away motherfucker from didn't say shit. He did, he did a set. This right. thing came on the right. He's like, check this out. He said, them bitches could be hemorrhaging right now. They bleeding right now. They met an NBA chairs. player, but that pussy <laughs> is on Call red her. Kool-Aid mode. <laughs> right. Okay, okay. Caller, you're on the line. What's your I'm name? I'm heavy. This is my third day. You know what? <laughs> Caller, you're oh on the line. God. What's up? Hang him up. Yeah, Caller, you're on the line. Turn your life down. Callers, turn your goddamn videos down if you're on the line waiting to get in. Okay, hang up. You don't. You don't forgot how to use the phones. Caller, you're on the line. <laughs> hey, big brother Zoe. What's happening? What's happening, man? It's Quentin, man. Oh, what's happening, Clinton? You act like I know you, nigga. <laughs> you do know me, Zoe. From where? Bro, what's up? I know it is a Clinton upstairs, nigga. Is it you? No, this Q that always donate. I don't know C- Clinton who. Quentin. Quentin. Oh, Quentin, yes. Oh, okay, that's Q then. Say Q, nigga. I know you hey, as Q. Hey, Quentin. What, what's up? What's up, y'all? What's what up, up Q? Boy, man? What, what up, Q? Man, it ain't nothing, man. I'm just leaving kickboxing. I just called to say what's up, man. Hey. Hey, hey, Corey. What up? Hey, what you think about my situation? As I told you the other day, man, look, I'm in the same house. With my baby mother trying to make it work for my son, and I'm and why the fuck I'm on child support? Well, she don't fuck with you for real. <laughs> <laughs> right, he know that. I told him he was I, I buttery the other day. <laughs> so buttery than a motherfucker. I, I'm changing all that shit though, though. I appreciate that shit too. Buttery, <laughs> just an old buttery you, ass you nigga. Do, <laughs> you, know right, you be trying to do the right thing, you know what I mean? Try to do the right thing, but fuck that. All right, hey, thanks for the call, man. We got to move it. Put right, dope in her purse. Man. Fuck her. <laughs> and call the police. <laughs> Caller, you're on the line. What's your name and where you calling from? Speak on it. Caller, you're on the line. What's your name and where you calling from? Speak on it. Hey, so this is Keisha. Hey, Keisha. How are you? Hey, Keisha. Hey, I'm good. I'm good. I'm glad I got through. <laughs> All right, talk to us about your sister girl circle. Do you rely on it too much? Uh, do you find that a lot of women in your circle are morally bankrupt, but you keep them around anyway? Well, I actually don't have a sister girl circle, and it's for the reasons that you all are citing tonight. I find a lot of women are very competitive. Mm-hmm. Um you know, when you go around a lot of women, they look you up and down. Like, the first thing they do is look you up and down. Yeah. Like, okay, is this, let me size her up. Is this somebody I want to t- be around? Is this somebody I don't want to be around? Uh, they compete with you automatically. Mm. So I can go around women one day, hang around women, and be smiling and happy and this and that. And they're like, you're too happy. Right. But you know, what? A, but let me, ask you, I'm, I'm let me ask you this. Let me ask you. Let me ask you this. I gotta ask you this question. Okay. What about okay. those memes that be on Instagram when it says "real queens fix each other's crowns"? Is that some some propaganda? Is that some bullshit? Do do real yeah. sisters exist where they really uplift other sisters for real? For real. It's few and far between. Few and f- why do you think they're few and far in between? Why is it that way? I think that most women look to each other to 
make them feel better, ultimately. Um, If that woman who they're in a relationship with does not benefit them in any kind of way, they're not going to help them lift their crown. Wow. You know, so they're, they're not going to say, okay, well, you know, I see right now you're at your lowest point in your life. I want to help you. I want to be here for you. I want to be an ear for you. And it, it just doesn't happen. It doesn't work. So they want a woman who's already there. And then when she falls off her high horse, oh, let me help you help you get back up. You know, let me help you get back on it. Mm-hmm. So I've just found that most of my relationships, most women, they want to gossip. And I'm, I'm not the type of person who's going to gossip because I'm not going to keep somebody's name on my lips. I'm not jealous of anybody. Um, and I'm not competing with anybody. Mm. Wow. But that's mostly <clears throat> what, what most women want to do. So if I get on the phone and I try to have a conversation, oh, let's talk about you know, the kids, or let's talk about your day, or let's talk about your dating life. If we can't compare notes and your notes are better than mine, more than likely they're not going to want to have a relationship. Mm-hmm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm-hmm. Well, young lady, we appreciate you calling in and sharing the real game. Thank you so much. We'll be, you know, Thank you. <laughs> this was powerful, man. Thank you. We'll, listen, this was a powerful topic. I think we should revisit it at some point because I'm looking at what's going on in the world and you guys have more power than you've had at any point in time in history right now. But like I said before, power corrupts. Y'all don't know how to wield it. It's like you niggas got the infinity gauntlet. <laughs> y'all, got, y'all got the glove of Thanos and you don't know how to wield it. And I think you guys are not going to get the equality you seek until you guys heal the wounds within your own sister circles. A lot of y'all got bad relationships with your mama. A lot of y'all got, you you know, like some real negative relationships with other women in y'all life. But yet y'all want to stand together on some old down with the patriarchy. And I'm not saying the patriarchy is right or whatever. I, what I'm saying is, how are you going to achieve your goals when you're starting from a broken spot? That's all I'm saying. You should do a show saying, how do I find a non-toxic bitch? <laughs> hey, where they at? A lot of people don't know. Where to begin? Damn. That's a good topic, though. Corey, you got to come in here, man. I'm with you. Let me know, Zoe. <laughs> I'm going to save that show until the next time you off. I'm I'm in town. My show this week got canceled in North Carolina, god damn it, because of the hurricane. Well, shit, Corey, oh, come yeah. back through Friday, nigga, <laughs> we know. do this shit. Let me know. Ah! Oh, dope, dope. That. So, look, everybody, I want to say thank you to uh, the YouTube channel, my YouTube channel, These Are What Show. Thank you for everybody in the chat room and participating in the show. Thank you for all the callers. Phone lines was lit two hours straight. Thank you to Corey Holcomb for coming in, man. Thank you Thanks for dropping that. Brothers, oh, Come you. on, man. <laughs> oh, how are you doing the Oprah? <laughs> thank you, Peaches and Mimi, for just being fucking ride or die, ride or real, down to earth, true, salt of the game women. We appreciate that. Y'all thank got you. to tell the truth in this motherfucker because there's a lot of fugazi women out there. There is. <laughs> right. It really is. But we appreciate it. Thank you so much. And we'll be Fine back Friday with another amazing topic. If, Corey, if you're available, man, we going to do that topic. I'm with it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then, y'all. Thank you so much. I'm Zoe Williams, the voice of reason. I'm about to bounce like bad 